you're probably wondering, Jennifer, what is it that you're doing here? So as you all know, or maybe don't know, I've been spending a lot of time in the live audio space, particularly on Twitter spaces. And I did a Twitter 101 last week, and that got some good good reception. You all appreciated that I put that together. It was a lot to un to cover. It really was. So um, I got some feedback on that too, that it was really great, that they a few folks had to watch it a few times to kind of grasp everything and to get a really good understanding. So I thought, okay, before I kind of do a large unpacking, perhaps I should do a small unpacking. And in doing so, that'll make it easier to kind of digest. Again, Twitter Spaces is uh, Twitter's version of Clubhouse. And there's a lot that's going on. And as they continue to make updates, I'm continuing to learn. And of course, we all are. But there is something kind of cool. If you're going to host a space, here's a really cool feature. And I'm going to switch to the phone mode. So you're looking at my phone. So if I go into Twitter and I go, remember, press and hold, and I click on space, and I title my space, and let's see if this time, yes. Yes, it did. Um, it pasted. So then I can start my space. Very cool, right? No different than what I did last time. So it's going to start. But here's the only one thing I'm going to cover today. Again, I'm trying to kind of baby step us through this. Now, I'm on mute here because everybody comes in on mute. Now, the thing I really want to show you is that if I go um, here and I go to my bookmark tweets and I pick one and I can say I want to share it, it'll give me the option, you'll see there, to share it to my space. So if I click that, it's been shared, and when you come back to the space, it shows up here. Kind of cool, right? So you're thinking, okay, well, okay, Jennifer, yeah, that that's kind of cool. But let's see, what else? Uh, let me find something else that I found kind of fun and interesting. Oh, this one. I absolutely love this one. <laughs> I'll share it to my space so you can look at it. Um, so now notice that it's threaded, right? Or it's it's like a slide. So you can look at each one that I've done and what a lot of hosts are doing when they've got these regular topics, regular um, regularly scheduled shows, or they're interviewing guests, is that they will curate these tweets that they know they're going to be sharing. They know they're going to be sharing these, so they bookmark them and then Either they put them all right at the start so as they talk, folks can kind of slide through to get a frame of reference for what's being discussed, or they will uh, load these as they go. You know, as the topic or as the discussion progresses, they'll then pop these in here. And it's a really great way to kind of expand the dynamic of the conversation that you're having on space because even though spaces is audio only, and yes, you can look and see who's talking here. Even though it's audio only, this is a way to give kind of that context to the conversation, allow folks to go deeper and to learn more. So that's all I'm going to show you today. I really wanted to kind of just encourage you to play around with spaces and kind of press the buttons, pull the levers, see what it'll do, and get to understand it because it can really be a power, powerful tool for you if you're willing to give it a shot. That's it. See? One thing. <laughs> Not a bunch of things. Give me some feedback on this. If this is helpful to you, if you like this format better where we just discuss one thing so that you have a chance to go into Twitter, kind of play around with it yourself, kind of add it to um, what you're already doing and, and learn more, then we'll do it this way. I really want folks to embrace this. I, it's such a powerful tool. Again, I'm also a Twitter fan, so if you're someone who doesn't like Twitter and it's not your thing, that's okay. This isn't for you. Um, I'll be doing stuff on Clubhouse and Hotline and other things in future, but I really want to unpack Twitter spaces, and, and I feel like based on the feedback I received on the video I did last week, that the better way to do it is just to uncover individual features, kind of allow everybody to digest it, play around with it, and then see what they can do with it if they want to do some fun stuff. If you're on Twitter Spaces, um, tag me in. Invite, send me a DM. Bring me in. I'd love to join you. If you're still sitting on the sidelines, not sure this is your thing, and you kind of want to dip your toe into the stream, I'm happy to walk you through. These little tutorials are meant to kind of warm the waters for you. Um, but again, if you need someone to join you in that, 
hit me up on DM. I'm at ePodcaster. Happy to join you and help you learn how Twitter Spaces can be a great content creation tool for you. So I wish you well, and we'll talk to you next time.